Hey guys, um, welcome to part 28 of Let's Play The Sims 3 University Life. A lot has happened, I mean so much. I have played 10 Sim Days without recording, but I didn't do anything drastic except move someone out and move people in. That's the only drastic thing. I only played that long because I've been waiting for this Forbidden Fruit Seed to get ready to pluck, and it's been 10 Sim Days, and I read on it, and it should have already been ready to harvest but it's not and I'm really sad so that means that I've exhausted all of my possibilities and <laughs> I'm sad but university life is gonna have to end because that's the last thing we didn't do which is have a plant sim and I know I could generate one and make one and all of that but I really want to grow one and it's made me really sad but I think it's time to let them go, so since this is 28, I'm going to end it at part 30. Um, unless this does let me harvest it or pluck it or whatever, see, not letting me. If it doesn't let me before this part's over, then we're going to be ending university life at part 30. But I will be picking back up with them, I'm choosing two of them to do a series on. I guess it's going to be a combined series with two people. Uh, I don't know which ones. They are going to be my favorite ones, though. <laughs> I don't know. I I have All of them are my favorites, but they are in order. Like, I have a more favorite than, you know, but I love them all. All of them. Even the ones that have added into the household, like Lena and Crystal. I love all of them that I've created. So, it's going to be pretty hard. But, yes. Yeah, so, while you guys weren't watching me play, I moved out Diana and her husband and they live somewhere and we will be checking on them we, we we will be checking on Colin and Ashton and Sarah in this part so it's gonna be a lot of jumping around just to forewarn you so if you don't want to watch this part don't watch it because it's just gonna be me checking up on them it was going to be about the plant sim baby but doesn't look like we can plug it still don't think it's ever gonna happen because I've played 10 days 10 sim days again so it's just taking forever don't think it's going to happen, but we're going to head downstairs right now, and uh, we're having Kara and Lena take some pictures together, and then um, I'm showing you guys the pictures that are already out. Laura and her boyfriend, look at how cute, I think they are a cute couple. I know you guys wanted her to be with Brett, but oh my gosh, look how cute they are, like there are also these ones. I love them of Laura. She's so freaking pretty. Look at this. Sorry. Look at that. And this one, I don't understand how they get them sideways and looking small. Like, you can't do that in a photo booth. But they're cute. These are supposed to be the silly ones. But I hope they come out with a, something to help it because it's glit. I feel like that's a glitch. But those ones of her are cute, too. Just looking all cute and... Oop, too close. But looking super cute. <laughs> Here are some photos of Aiden and Lena. They are a cute couple, too. Like, I must say. They are a very cute couple. I love the romantic ones, and then that one of them kissing on the bottom left, that's super, super cute. And these ones are supposed to be silly, but they're not silly to me. <laughs> okay, you guys, so since it's midnight, I think we're going to head over to all the other households that I said we're going to go look at, and we're going to start with Diana, since she's the most recent one to move out. Okay, you guys, so this is Diana's house, and I did build it. It's nothing extravagant or anything like that uh I did do a rush job on this house but I did try at the same time I just wanted to get all their houses built that I built for them I think that two of the sims in this let's play are going to have to live in the same house but other than that they all have their own house um I like this house a lot it's dark and I don't know <laughs> I think it's cute for a rush job. Really cute. Uh, we're going to go in. I don't know. Let's see. If they're anywhere in here. Are they home? Yeah, is she going to come watch TV? 
Come on, Diana, come here so we can have some light. I guess I can start in the garage. I made her their garage like this because they're both artistic and they both have um, art degrees. And so I put a sculpting in here, thing in here, and then a uh, painting easel, and then the sketch thing if you want to be an architect or fashion designer in here. As you can see, her husband's on it. I always forget his name, Daniel. So Diana and Daniel. <laughs> this is the living room. Since she's in here, I'll show you this room. I needed the light to be on. It's very eclectic just because Diana is an artist, and so is he. And it may not be eclectic to you guys, but I think it's pretty eclectic. I put ambition stuff in here, generation stuff in here, high and loft stuff in here, custom content in here. Not one thing, you know, and I love the floor to ceiling windows that I use. And then um, there's also some late night in here. So very eclectic. I love the exposed brick that I have. And then, yeah, I think it's just so Diana. It's pre-ready for children. I don't know if they're going to have any, but it's set up for children. Here's the kitchen area. It's pretty basic. I don't I don't dislike it, but I don't love it at all. <laughs> that I don't dislike it. It's pretty small and straight to the point. And then I love this eating area out here with the lighting. And I always put a grill outside of all the homes just because I use them a lot in my own gameplay when I do have a chance to play. So let's have Diana come up here to show you her room. This is the hallway, and nothing major, but I love the color. It's the same as the outside of the home, almost. And there's their laundry room in there, and then two spare rooms, Jack and Jill rooms, with their bathroom that I love. I love this tub. It's custom content, and you can actually see the jets when the Sims get in there, and I love these two sinks. Love, love, love them. And I love her bedroom, but she's not in it yet, so I will wait to show you guys that. Okay, now she's in here. It's plum or spice berry, whichever color you choose to say or call this, but I love it. I love the windows, I love the curtains, I love the color. It's simple, but it's so Diana at the same time. She hasn't grown out of her spice berry yet. And her husband, Daniel. Okay, go in the bathroom. Okay, good. This is their master bathroom. I love these sinks. They're my favorite custom content sinks. And high and loft stuff in here as well. And I think it complemented it very well. And that's it. That's it for her house. And I don't know. Let's see what their jobs are. They've only been out for a day, so I don't know how far they are. He's still a line cook. He just got a promotion. He makes 147 simoleons per hour, so he makes a kind of good living. You know, that's good. That's decent. And Diana is a, con a conservation specialist performance. Wow. Okay. So she just recently got a promotion because she did not have this when she left. And she gets 250 simoleons per hour, so she makes great, like, over-the-top great money. And uh, I hope you guys like Diana's house. So we're going to go check on, who are we going to go check on now? I think we're going to go check on Colin. Okay, so um, we're at Colin's. Like I said, um, his wife is pregnant. When I got here, she had this on, so I knew she was pregnant because this is maternity wear, and I love that dress. 
But, uh, I'm glad they put that on her. The game, like, generated that to be put on her. Oh my gosh, did he get a promotion today? Anyways, he's a top secret researcher. He makes really good money. And I just added this stuff in, threw it in this room. I did not want it to look, like, extravagant or over-the-top cute. Just added a bed, a crib, and a toy box. And the changing table. That's it, just so they'll be prepared. And then the walker. It looks like they're happy because they're having a baby. She's super juiced and she's pregnant, which is so awkward. Uh, she's super juiced and prego. So weird. I wonder how Colin is going to be as a parent. So I can't wait to see what they have. They should have their baby before... This season is over if the plant sim comes, but if not, we probably won't get to see their um, child, but, well, actually, no, I'll make sure we get to see their baby, but we're going to go check on Ashton now.